Hey everybody! The time finally came for the long-awaited and much-requested challenges problem on HackerRank. In this problem we are going to use the with statement and the group by clause in a combination that you probably didn't see before. Are you excited? Then let's dive right in. So let's start with this challenges problem. First of all I want to tell you how we are going to approach this problem. So the first step is we are going to read the problem description. Second step we are going to outline the output. What is the goal? What do we actually want to have? The third thing is we want to understand the problem. So we look at the sample input and output and we want to understand how we can solve this problem what should our code look like in the end. And the fourth one is we're going to start writing the query and solving the problem. Now notice here that we have three steps before we actually going to start writing the query because we make it clear in our heads and in our mind how we are actually going to solve this and then it's much easier to actually solve it and to write the queries. Let's start with this. Julia asked her student to create some coding challenges. Write a query to print the hacker ID, name and the total number of challenges created by each student. Okay, so we already in the second sentence have the output here. So the output is hacker ID, name, total number of challenges by each student. Sort your results by the total number of challenges in descending order. So order by total number challenges descending and we have also a second condition if more than one student created the same number of challenges then sort the result by the hacker id okay and then order by hacker id this order by is really going to be the easiest and now the last sentence if more than one student created the same number of challenges and the count is less than the maximum number of challenges created, then exclude those students from the result. So here we write a pseudocode, a code-like statement, if more than one student created the same number of challenges. More than one student with same number, then, and the count is less than the maximum count number of challenges challenges then exclude students so let's try to understand what does this actually mean so we can also put this in two parts here we have the first part we where we get just get hacker id name and total number of challenges by each student and now we have the second part which is going to be the harder part where we get this query if more than one student the same number and the count is less than the maximum number of challenges so what does it actually mean in order to understand this better we take the sample input here so now we have here the sample input and now we can uh, think about what the query should look like what should it solve so we have the hacker id rows with 5077 and let's look from the hacker id how often she submitted a challenge so we can see her here in the beginning one time two time three times and four times so she su submitted four challenges is she included or excluded at the result set in the end well we don't know yet right we just know that she made four challenges if somebody else did that also then she will be ex inc excluded. If not, she will be included. So let's look at Angela now. Angela has 21283. 21283. One time, two times, three times, four times, six times, seven times. So she has 21283 and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six times sorry six times the challenges and now let's look at frank so angela and rose from this standpoint now they are both included because they have unique number of challenges so how many challenges has frank six two seven four three this is gonna be one time two times three times four times so Frank has four times, Rose also has four times and they don't have the maximum number of challenges. So the maximum number of challenges is six times because Angela has six times and they both have four times. So they will be excluded from the result set. They will not be in the result set. We know that by now. So let's look at Patrick, 88255. One time, two time, three times, four time, five times. So five times is gonna be included. There's no problem there. And let's look at Lisa in the end. 
Lisa is just going to be one time. One time is also a unique number of challenges, so she will also be included. So now we have a good idea of what it should do, who should be included, who should be excluded. So let's start with the query now. We have it uh, just two tables, hackers table and challenges table, and they are get connected through the column hacker ID, which we can see in both tables here. So let's start maybe with the hackers table with the hacker ID and the name. Select hacker ID name from hackers. Okay, so now we already have two of the three columns from the first part, hacker ID and name, but we also need the challenges, the total number of challenges by each student. How do we get that? We make a join with the challenges table. We also call hackers, we give it an abbreviation H. Challenges has the abbreviation C. On what do we combine them? On what do we connect them? On hacker ID on c.hackerid equals h.hackerid. So now we are able to give out the challenge ID, which is the unique column in the challenge table. So we have h.hackerid, h.name and c.challenge ID. Okay, so we have the hacker ID, the name and the challenge ID. But we don't want actually want the challenge ID, but we want the total number of challenges by each student. So we want to count for each student how many challenges did he or she made. To count something, we use the count function, count, and what do we want to count? The challenges. So we count c.challenge ID as num, I call it num challenges, number of challenges. And if you use an aggregate function like count, you also have to group your results. We want to group by the hacker ID and by the name. Now, if you're in MySQL, you only need to group by hacker ID, but I'm in MS SQL Server, so we have to group with all the columns that are not in the aggregate function. So we group with hacker ID and name. Okay, so now we have the hacker ID, we have the name, and we have the total number of challenges by each student. So Margaret, has a hacker ID 57799 and she has made four challenges. She submitted four challenges to the contest. Now the first part is cleared. We have the order by still open, but we are gonna include that in the end. We don't need that right now. Now it's about the second part. If more than one student with the same number of challenges and the count is less than the maximum number of challenges, then we should exclude those students. So the first thing that we want to figure out is how do we actually see if a student has more, has the same number of challenges. How do we see if Margaret with four challenges, if somebody else also has four challenges. So let's order by count from challenge ID to make that a bit more obvious who has the same number of challenges. So I ordered descendingly, that means the highest number of challenges are at the top and we want to definitely include the highest number. That is, that is this condition, the count is less than the maximum number of challenges. So the maximum number of challenges should be included. And now we can see, for example, so what should be excluded? So they all have unique, 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 unique. So they have 12 here. 12 comes very often here. So they all should be excluded. So now you have to think without no SQL, without programming, without anything. How do you know? How can you detect that these people with 12, they should be excluded? You think it's easy, they have, Steve has 12, I can see it here, Sandra has 12, Ryan has 12. So what you're actually doing, you are counting the number of challenges. So you have uh, 14, you know that they are ordered. So if in the front is no 14 and afterwards is no 14, then 14 is the only one, then this is included. So you count the number, right? You count here with the 12, you have one time, two times. Ah, okay, we already have two times. So that can be, has to be excluded. Anything more than uh, one, time that comes out in this query has to be excluded. What do we want to do with our query? We want to count the number of challenges. So we have to make another count on this count. We already counted the total number of challenges for each hacker and now we have to count how often each challenge actually, each, uh, each number of challenges actually comes in the query. In order to count this now, programmatically, this 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, we actually have to count the column that we got out in the first query. So we are going to put this query as a common table expression with a with statement. And that just means that we are creating another table on the fly. We call it table tbl num challenges s and then we open 
the brackets and now we can make another select down there. So now when we do another select, we can refer to this TBL num challenges. It, will, it is another ch table now. It is the hackers table and the challenges table. We now created another table and we make select num challenges, which is the column that we just created here. And now we want to count the num challenges. How often does the 15 exist? How often does the 14 exist? How often does the 12 exist in the table? From TBL num challenges. So let's, what do we expect here? So we have to group by, of course, group by the num challenges. That is actually the thing that we want to group, the thing that we want to count now. Okay, so we cannot use the order by in uh, such a table because it is not our results table. It is just a um, co contemporary table. Okay, so now we see the number of challenges. Uh, they are one time submitted. There are 126 hackers that submitted one challenge. So one challenge, definitely all of them get excluded. Two challenges, they had, there were 128 hackers that all submitted each two challenges. So all of these hackers, they also get excluded. So everybody gets here excluded until the one that submitted eight, challenge, eight challenges. So this is the first hacker that actually gets included in the result set because nobody else submitted eight challenges. Only he or she did that. So this is a very important information. The count, let's call it as count challenges. And let's use this table again. So what we did here with the with TBL num challenges that we created a co contemporary table, a common table expression it is called. We can do this again. We can do that as often as we want. And now we do it a second time. And how do we do that? We make a comma and we write TBL count challenges as so now we have it the second time to know how many, the number of challenges, how often do they actually were submitted. And now we want to get a result set where we get everything out. So we want the hacker ID, we want the name, we want the num challenges from the first table that we created, and we want the count challenges from the second table that we created. We take it from TBL num challenges, TBL num challenges, T and C, on tnc dot. So how can we combine these tables, the first and the second one? Well, they have one same column, the num challenges, and we can also join them on the num challenges. So num challenges equals, first we get from tbl num challenges, and then afterwards, of course, in the next line, we make the join. So tbl num challenges is tnc abbreviation, join tbl count challenges, tcc on tcc dot num challenges equals tnc dot num challenges. So where comes the hacker ID from? We take this from tnc. We also take this from tnc. We take this from tnc from the first table and this is from the second table then which we call tcc. So let's get this output now. So now we are already pretty close to the solution and we can even see better here what we did. In the first column there is the hacker ID as we write here. The second column is the hacker name, Caroline. The third column is one. What it means, she submitted one challenge. And the last column is how many hackers in total submitted one challenge. And they were, the answer is 126 hackers submitted one challenge. So of course, Carolyn cannot be seen in the end result set because 125 other hackers also submitted that. And this is also not the maximum number of challenges because there were hackers that submitted 50 times and that is the maximum number of challenges. So now that we joined everything together and and we made our tables, we still have to apply this exclusion from these records. So how do we do this? Well, because we designed it in this way, it's really easy now. We can write where in the fourth columns, actually fourth columns says to us um, who should we include and who should we exclude. So we should exclude the ones that they have more than one in this uh, last column, the count challenges. So we write where tcc dot count challenges is bigger than one. But there was another condition that we cannot forget about. And that is if the count is less than the maximum number of challenges, then we should exclude them. But if the count is the maximum number of challenges, which is 50 in this case, then we should 
include them, even if they come multiple times. So how do we write this now? And that's why we write an or here, because then if any of these conditions is met, so actually we have to write smaller or equal because we want to include them. Yes, so we write smaller or equal to one. And who want to, else do we want to include? If the tcc.count challenge equals the maximum count. So if the count challenges uh, column equals, no, if the number of challenges column, if the tnc.num challenges, how many number of challenges did they submit it? If that equals the maximum number of challenges, then we also want to include them. So if that equals, and here we can make another query where we select the maximum number of challenges. So where do we get this out? Actually from the first table here, we can see we counted here the number of challenges. So select max from num challenges from the first table, from table num challenges. This will be the number 50 that comes out from this query. And then we include everyone that has uh, the number of challenges equal to 50. And this is exactly what we want because 50 is the maximum number of challenges and we don't want to exclude them, we want to include them. So now we have all of these conditions and now the last condition that we need is the order by. There we had two, two things that we wanted to order by, the total number of challenges descending, which is tnc.num challenges descending and after the hacker ID. And it didn't set descending, so we can assume that it means ascending, which is the default option. So let's run this code now. Okay, so it still, still says wrong answer. Why does it says wrong answer? Well, we still have this tcc.count challenges in the result set. And we don't actually need this one because we only had to give out three columns. Hacker ID name, total number of challenges by each student. So let's run this ex again and I expect the right solution now. And there you go. So we have solved the problem. I'm gonna put the link for the co query in the description. Please subscribe and like the video and tell me in the comments what other video do you want to watch next. And see you in the next one.